okay hello everyone and uh, welcome to the channel and today we'll be talking about a very very simple question asked by a member to explain about the question is from the strength of the material book of the Andrew Patel probably be the fourth edition and it's from the first chapter so we'll be talking about the question of simple stresses the question actually is a hollow steel tube with an inside diameter of 100 mm must carry a tensile load of 400 kilonewton so they're asking to determine <coughs> sorry they are asking to determine the outside diameter of the tube if the stress is limited to 120 mega newton per square meters so first of all we will find out the given data now so the first thing is the inside dia which is 100 mm load is 4 kilonewtons and the stress is 120 mega newton per square meters now to know that what we want to find out that is the outside dia of that hollow tube so we'll be drawing that uh, hollow tube which is having that outside dia <coughs> sorry which is unknown and the inside dia is 100 mm and if you see the elevation to know that how the load is applied which is downwards or upwards for inclusions you can say it so the equation is very very much easy which is equals to load into stress into uh, sorry load equals to stress into area we know the area but the outside dia will be missing so the load is available and the stress is available we'll be playing with the area so let's see how does that happen so load is equal to 4 kilotons which is equal to 400 new 400,000 newtons and uh, the stress is equal to 120 megapascals so let's see that how area works we know that it is equals to pi r square or 1 by 4 pi d square so we want to find out the area of this uh, what we say thickness of that uh, tube which is e which will be equals to <coughs> area of the outer uh, uh, dia minus the inner inner uh, tube or we say area of the outer tube minus the inner tube which will be giving given us like that area equals to outer minus inner which we know that pi is available and all other things are constant and 100 is the dia of that tube so putting in that p is equals to stress into area equation we will be getting this then this and if you arrange this yeah, d square will be equal to <coughs> sorry and then finally the d is equals to 119.35 mm so the equation was uh, very easy the question was very easy and uh, I did not solve this thing I did not explain actually because I know that uh, you I'm assuming that you know these things but if you have any problem regarding these equations then please tell me in comments and thank you for watching bye bye for now